Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today we're getting into another BoxyCharm box. So today we're going to be unboxing and trying on the December base box. I know it's late, don't come at me. Y'all know I still like to review the products for you guys. So if you are interested in seeing my base box, what I got in it, and a little try on of the products in it, then just make sure you keep on watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. That is how you stay tuned with all my latest videos because YouTube will notify you once you hit that bell every time I post a new video. Please don't forget to thumbs up the video and also leave me a comment and let me know if you guys have a BoxyCharm subscription. And if you don't, are you watching this video because you want to try it out soon? Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give a hell, paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the night so guys, disclaimers, this video is not sponsored at all, and I actually did have one thing to say before we get started, I'm still debating on it, but I might end up canceling my BoxyCharm subscription because they did tell me they would charge the box for $27.99, which is the new price for the new year, which I don't mind, but they actually switched it up on me, guys, so when I first signed up, they told me it would be the new price, 27 because I signed up in November. It was already close to the new year. And they actually didn't start charging me 27 until January. So now I'm actually paying $30 with the tax. So I kind of got confused there. I didn't like how they explained it. They didn't explain it properly. So I'm still debating if I want to do BoxyCharm or not because BoxyCharm still is a great subscription box. They have a lot of full-size items, all full-size items, for the $27.99 or whatever box you choose. And all the boxes retail well over $100. So we are still debating. We will see. Just keep watching, guys. Next week, we will also have the BoxyCharm Winter Luxe Box because I didn't get to share that with you guys yet. I feel like I needed a week off YouTube, so we just skipped last week and we are here. So now let's fully get into this box. So again, this box is the base box. You do get it for $27.99 with taxes 30 and change. And you get five full-size products. So our December base box, this is how our baby is looking. Oops. Technical difficulties over here. So this is how our baby is looking. Um, I did look in the box to see if there was anything I wanted to try out first, and there actually is. So this month's box was the BoxyCharm Gift of Glam. So let's glam it up, baby. Now, the first product I received was this baby right here. This is the Tint Beauty Tinted Hydrating Tinted Eye Cream. Undercover is a sheer color correcting eye cream that doubles as both eye cream and concealer. The buildable sheer formulation evens out tone while hydrating the skin with skin perfecting ingredients such as hyaluronic acid, squalene, and apple extract. Use as desired for a well hydrated and supple finish that reduces the appearance of dark under eye circles. Now this retails for $24. I thought this was a really cool product. I got the shade Mist. I think the packaging is really cute and just really simple. I also do like that it comes with this applicator. I've seen this before because I love to watch BoxyCharm videos on YouTube. And I've seen this before in a box. Now, the girl I watched, I forgot her name. I'll have her mentioned in here. I think from what I remember, don't get me wrong. I could be wrong. But from what I remember, I don't think she really tried out this product because she was wearing uh, makeup already. But we're going to go ahead and try it out under foundation. And this is the shade Mist again. That's how it looks. It feels really creamy. So let's put it on the eye and take it to the test. Here we go. This stuff seems really pigmented, so let's hope. I hope I didn't add too much either. And I believe it says to lightly. Yeah, I think I OD'd, guys. <laughs> Whoops. We will see. Let's keep patting this out and see how it comes out. I 
one thing I can say already about the formula is I love it because if y'all don't already know, I use hyaluronic acid on a daily basis. And hyaluronic acid is meant to plump the skin, to hydrate, to moisturize, give that well-needed balance. Squalane is really good in moisturizing and keeping the moisture in. So I'm a little bit over the top of my eye. We'll see how it goes. So I'm going to finish blending this off camera and I'm going to come right back. Okay, guys, so this is how it's looking blended out. I think it really is a nice sheer, but still like full coverage effect. Not completely full coverage, but it's close. I'm going to go ahead and add on my foundation, do my brows and my contour, and then we will be right back because we have some more products to talk about. All right, guys, so I'm not finished yet. I still have my contour palette to do which i'm about to do right now but i wanted to pop on and just show you guys how it's looking so far i did add foundation um no concealer underneath the eyes but over the eyes yes so the tinted brightening cream i'm really enjoying it's not caking up it's not creasing it's not looking patchy so we're gonna keep going and see how it goes i am also gonna set my under eyes with powder so after I'm done with the cream contour and powder, I will be back. So this is how it's looking while I'm baking. I am using the Lasting Fix Maybelline Setting Matte Loose Powder. The reason I'm also leaving my powder on is because I'm going to go into the next product, which I have heard has some fallout. So I heard it's a really good palette. It just has fallout and that's something we have to work with. So the next product is the Real Her Dream So Big Eyeshadow Palette. This is, I believe, a nine pan palette and it has some really gorgeous nude shades. So this is what the palette looks like. Really simple matte black with the gold lettering and a compact little mirror. Nice color story. Let's have some fun with this today. So I'm going to do something kind of basic because it is a neutral eyeshadow palette. So for this look, I think I'm going to go into Imagine, which is this one right here, um, to do our transition with. The pigment's pretty good. Honestly, I'm not seeing fallout yet, but we will keep going. I'm liking, I'm liking. Nice pigment. It feels smooth. It's blendable. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera, and then we're going to get into the next so shade. So we have our transition shade on. I'm going to add another color to it to blend it out a little bit more but i did forget to let you guys know a little bit more about this palette so again this is the dreams so big eyeshadow palette these nine highly pigmented buttery and blendable shades are infused with avocado oil coconut oil and other vegan powerhouse ingredients for hydration and anti-aging properties i just turned 25 so anti-aging is always on my list and this palette retails for $28. I think it's a really affordable palette for a neutral everyday thing because this is something that I would wear every day. The shade we're going to go into is Inspire, which is this pinky shade right here. And we're just going to use that to blend out the Imagine shade. really soft on the eyes i'm liking how it's blending the color payoff is amazing i'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and be right back so i think my next shades are gonna be shimmery the first shade i'm gonna go into is empower and we're just gonna use that to darken the smoky eye right on the outer corner
Now I'm going to go into the shade and vision and we're going to put that right on the lid up to the mid center right before we put the shade and power. So now I'm going to take off our setting powder and we're going to finish up the eye look. Okay, guys, now we're at the end of our eye look. I honestly didn't see too much fallout. I'm going to take the shades Imagine and Inspire, which was the ones we used for our transition shades. And I'm going to use that as our lower lash line color. All right, guys, so the last shade we're going to be taking is the shade Dream, which is this really pretty pearl color. And we're going to use that right on our brow bone and the inner corner as our highlight to make our eyes a little bit more open, a little bit more awake. I'm really liking this dream shade because it has that reflect of gold in it. And y'all know I'm a goat fan on my skin tone. All right, guys. So this is how we're looking. I'm loving the palette. Loving it. The next product we're going to get into is the Luna Liner by Seraphine Botanicals. I actually got a product in my last box that I'm going to be using today in a second. Um, that I've been loving so I expect nothing less from this and again this is the Seraphine Botanicals Luna Liner water resistant liquid eyeliner it's vegan fade proof water resistant it's a liquid liner that features an intensely black ink for the ultimate eye definition the micro brush tip glides on smoothly dispensing just the right amount of liquid as you apply so you're able to create precise definition where you want this retails for $18 and I feel like if it's really good, $80 is not a bad price for a water-resistant liner. And this is how the liner looks. Looks no packaging, up close and personal. I like the simple design. And y'all know I love felt tip liners. I know there's people who don't really enjoy those because they tend to tug on eyeshadow in the eyes. But we're going to try it out. And I feel like they gave a nice pigment. I did a little thinner because this side does seem to move around a lot if you do it too thick or if you push down too hard. So let's get into it and try it. I'm going to attempt to do my liner on camera. Okay, it's not bad. It's tugging a little bit. Not too bad. I've had some liners that don't move at all on eyeshadow. All right, guys, so I actually had to take some of the videos off my phone because it ran out of space, but I finished my liner off camera. This is how it's looking. We had a little trouble working with the liner. Again, it is felt tip, so sometimes felt tip liners are a little bit harder to work with, but it could also be the fact that it's waterproof, but it honestly wasn't so bad. It still came out really good, really pigmented. As you guys can see, I was playing around with it to get more of the color out. One thing you don't want to do is have your pen like this when you're drawing your eyeliner because a lot of the ink tends to go to the back. So personally, how I find it works better for me is if you mess around with it on your hand a little bit, whatever it dries out. Um, but besides that, it's pretty good. I'd have to give it a good four stars. It's a really good liner. I love liners and I don't go without one. First, I'm gonna throw on some lashes and we have two more products to talk about. One skincare, one makeup. These are the Alicia Lized Beauty Angelic Lashes. These are 16 millimeter lashes and I'm also using the Chiseled Beauty Clear Lash Adhesive. Now, Alicia Lized Beauty is my cousin's brand. She recently launched last year, so super excited and all her lashes are cruelty free. Yes, baby. We're going to throw these on real quick with our glue, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is how our lashes are looking. One of my favorite pairs ever. Now, the next product I'm really excited for, this is the fourth and final makeup product. Um, and then we're going to talk about skincare and finish off our face. 
but this is the Tarte Man Eater Plumping Gloss, and it says, apply Tarte's Man Eater Plumping Gloss for visibly plumper looking lips. The nourishing formula smooths the lips and wraps them in lasting hydration, color, and shine, while the Volume Plump Complex works to visibly plump the lips with just one swipe. This retails for $19. Personally, probably not something I would buy maybe once or twice just to get a couple shades, but we will see. I'm going to try it out, and yeah. I got the shade Mauve, so I am going to be pairing this with a lip liner. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. Number one, the leopard print is just cheetah print, whatever it is. I, you know, you guys know I'm always getting mixed up, but absolutely love that. And it's just a really pretty color. So I have my liners here, my favorite liners of all time by Italia Deluxe Makeup. And I think I'm going to go with natural beige. Now we have our liner on. Let's go ahead and add our gloss, baby. Oh, so first of all, really nice applicator. Oh, this is such a pretty shade. I'm glad I used this color of liner. It does feel a bit sticky. I'm liking it though, so far. It does have a slight tingling sensation. Just a warning for those who don't like that. I really don't mind it. Like I said, a little sticky. Just a little bit. But honestly, not that bad. I like. Again, another brand that I can't expect less from. So to pretty much finish off this look, there's only one more product I want to use that isn't in this box. But this is the one that I was talking about, that I talked about in my last boxy charm, And that is the Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Cream Palette from Serafine Botanicals. I'm going to use one of the shades for my blush. And that's really it to complete the look. And then we're going to get into our last product in the box. So if you guys missed the last boxy charm unboxing and trying, you guys can check it out by clicking the card above. I'm going to take my fluffy brush, as I always do. I'm taking one by Texamo. I think we're going to do the rosy pink, which is this middle shade right here. Just to finish off the look. Yep, I like this blush. Perfect blush for this look. And there we go. That is the finished look. Let me know in the comments if you liked it. Also, I did want to mention before I forget, I did see a little bit of fallout after I put on that pearly shade. Um, so just keep that in mind again. Now the last product we're going to talk about is this mask by Mud Masky. This is probably the most expensive product out of the box. It retails for $59. This non-foaming, fragrance-free cleansing mask is infused with rich minerals to detoxify and deep cleanse your face before bedtime. Formulated with a blend of cleansing minerals and Mud Masky's signature premium Moroccan lava clay, this effective formula aids in restoring your skin's pH levels, reducing redness, and preventing acne. So, if you guys don't know, now you know. I am hugely acne-prone. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and I have occasional breakouts, but really bad ones, hormonal cystic, a lot of blackhead and bumps, um, congested acne. So super excited to try this. You guys don't already know, I do all my skincare reviews over on my Instagram. So check that out at Midnight Moon Makeup. I will be reviewing this very soon. And I just think it's a really cool mask. But for $60 for this size, mm, not so sure. We will definitely check it out, though, and try it out. All right, guys, so now it's time to tell you how much this box retailed for and what was the value. So, again, we paid $30 for this new box with tax, 
and all the products retailed out to $148. Amazing box, amazing box. I can't wait to share with you guys my BoxyCharm Luxe box for the winter. Again, if you like this look, then leave a comment, let me know. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on more videos. And we will be back next week with our next BoxyCharm box. So without further ado, I love you guys. I will talk to you later. We will see you again next Thursday as always. And as always, you guys stay beautifully awesome. Bye.